Hi, I'm Alan, and I'm back so soon because I completed my eight card project. I will share that with you momentarily. But first, say, good, say goodbye to a legend. Rest in peace, Gail Sayers, the Kansas Comet. I was fortunate enough to be in his presence once, and his legend is palpable. Magic and pick together again in God's backfield. Okay, uh, before I share my eight card uh, reveal, my eight card project, I have uh, a couple of, uh, well, a, a pickup and a, a return from a private signing. The return from the private signing is Joe Charbonneau who was the 1980 American League Rookie of the Year. He inscribed uh, 80 ROI on the card uh, out of the kindness of his heart because I didn't, didn't send in any extra money for the, for the inscription. In uh, 1980, uh, Super Joe hit uh, 289 with 23 home runs and 87 RBIs to win the Rookie of the Year award. Then he suffered an injury and just was never the same and was out of baseball a few years later. But a great guy, Joe Charbonneau. And uh, an eBay pickup. This, uh, this gentleman, uh, I think, charges through the mail. I sent him a card once, never got it back. But I wanted uh, him, him to be a part of my collection because uh, I'm a big American Football League fan, and he scored the last point in American Football League history when he uh, kicked an extra point in the 1970 AFL All-Star Game. He also registered the last point in uh, Super Bowl IV when the Chiefs beat the Minnesota Vikings to even the all-time Super Bowl count at AFL II, NFL II, Jan Stenerud. All right, now on to the project. Uh, in 1960, 61, 62, 63, Fleer had the, the license for the American Football League cards. Topps also produced AFL cards in 1961, but uh, didn't pick it up again until 64 through 69, uh, when the leagues, two leagues, NFL, AFL, merged. Uh, in 1964, 1964 was the only year that AFL team cards were issued. So my pr little project was to get uh, all eight of the team cards, the original eight AFL franchises, signed by one of their players. And it took uh, only a few weeks to finish this project. I, I was kind of surprised in one sense, but not really in another, because of all the uh, the the athletes, athletic at, uh, groups I've sent to, uh, the most success for me has come from former American Football League players. Uh, 57 out of 63, that's 90% of the AFL athletes have returned uh, uh, signed cards. So that's pretty, uh, uh, pretty awesome. Anyway, uh, here's the, here are the eight team cards in alphabetical order with the player uh, who uh, signed them for me. I asked uh, the players to indicate themselves in the team photo and uh, all of them did with one exception. Uh, first the Boston Patriots and wide receiver Art Graham. He put a little arrow over his head on the back row. And these guys are really good at sending extras. In fact, three of these, uh, three of the eight sent extras. Uh, Mr. Graham included a note. Uh, he caught 199 career passes as a uh, in the AFL. 199. Uh, I asked him. Uh, I sent him a letter, and uh, uh, I said 199 catches is nothing to sneeze at. But I'm sure he lost a few to penalties. Do you recall one that stands out? And his response on the back was, 
I still dream of the game against the New York Jets and Joe Namath. I think it's in 66, 67. Uh, I had a post play, a post pass play in the third period with us winning by two points. The pass was off my fingertips and I touched it three times on the 40 yard line and a possible touchdown, but I couldn't, not, I could not get it. We lost by three points. Go Pats, Art Graham. So he still remembers uh, not being able to corral that pass that would have given him 200 uh, career receptions. So that's pretty, uh, uh, pretty nice uh, little uh, t piece of history. The second uh, team card is the Buffalo Bills, signed by Harry Jacobs, one of their uh, all-time great linebackers. In fact, he's one of 20 players that uh, played in the league during its entire 10-year run from 1960 to 1969. This came through a private signing. Then we have, uh, for the Denver Broncos, Gene Mingo, who was a kicker, a halfback, played defense, just an all-purpose uh, player. Uh, he led the AFL in scoring a couple of times. He was over 100 points, combining uh, his PATs, field goals, and touchdowns. Just a legendary figure in the AFL uh, history. Then we have the Houston Oilers and Mr. Tony Banfield, who put a dot above his head on the back row. He was born in Independence, Kansas, uh, about 10 miles from my hometown of Coffeyville. He was a defensive back, and this was uh, uh, Mr. Mingo and Mr. Banfield were uh, acquired through the mail. Then we have the Kansas City Chiefs. And I'm just not destined to get a, a, a nice Johnny Robinson autograph. The first card I sent to him a, a couple years ago came back with some ink transfer. This one came back with a little bit of a smudge on the R, but you know, it's all right. I, it's for my personal collection, but he did circle himself in the photo, number 42. Johnny Robinson was recently elected into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. It's another one of the, the, the 2010 guys who was with uh, uh, in the AFL during its entire uh, existence from 1960 with the Dallas Texans through 1969 with the Chiefs. Played in two Super Bowls and won uh, in 1970, Super Bowl four. Okay, and the New York Jets, we have Bill Baird, number 46, circled himself on the front row, defensive back, member of the 69 Super Bowl three champions. He also included some extras. Uh, he sent me a note that said, Dear Alan, happy to honor your request and thank you for the kind words. A thought for you and your family. God is not a respecter of person. We all need each other. With kind regard, Bill Baird. And he included uh, a photo of him uh, in his Jets uniform, signed Bill Baird, notated down here, Super Bowl three world champions. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, also, uh, Mr. Robinson included or uh, answered a question, or uh, I had posed to him in my note. I said I would be interested in your thoughts on Patrick Mahomes and the current Chiefs. I think he's the real deal, the second best quarterback in Texans Chiefs history. And uh, Mr. Robinson put an asterisk. I roomed with Lenny Dawson, the best quarterback. So that was pretty cool. Then we have the Oakland Raiders, uh, Mr. Tom Flores, who was a quarterback for the team for a few years. He circled himself in the photo. This was acquired through the mail. Uh, became a successful head coach later in his career. And finally, uh, we have uh, the San Diego Chargers, acquired through a private signing, as was Harry Jacobs for the Bills. Uh, Mr. Paul McGuire circled himself on the front row, was a punter linebacker, and became a well-known broadcaster to, uh, on television 
uh, until recently. So that's my AFL uh, team project. Thank you for bearing with me. As I said, uh, it came together surprisingly quick, but I am uh, thrilled to add all of these to my AFL collection. I want to wish everyone peace, love, and understanding. <laughs>